I'm calling this modulation magic because it I it actually fooled me. I didn't even know what's going on here. I, I didn't even notice that it started out in one key and it changed to another. And I, and I, I didn't know that I was doing it at the time, you know. I was just playing. I, I played something like this. did exactly but um i changed the key and and i'm gonna play it now and we're gonna see if we can get a sense of um what happened you know how, 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 how this happened play a little piano he said i'm gonna play a little piano and it starts with this note He's in C now. C. F. The four chord. Back to, oh, I know, then it goes to the G. Then it, now it goes to the D, C. I think I'm going to play a little piano. Okay. All right, so he says he's going to... Here's the C chord in the key of C. Now it goes up the F, which is the four. One, two, three, four. Now it goes to the G, which is the five chord. But then it goes to the D. To the C. And back to the G. Now we're in the key of G. So, I mean, how, how, how did he do that? Like, that, that magic, you know, that, that's magic, right? Because our sense of the key is, is our sense of home. So it starts on C. I'm just gonna, because I'm, I'm gonna play, I'm gonna try to play it simply so I can, and though you can maybe follow it. So here's the C chord, and now it goes up to the F chord. One, two, three, four, the four chord, you know? And then, now it goes up to the five. Now, you know, it could go back home. You know, there's a lot of chords that do that. One, four, five, and then back home. But instead of that, I think that's when I must have decided that I wanted to um, change key. Like somehow my voice didn't think it was going to, that's not a good key to sing in. I don't know what it was. You know, the people were with, you know, the, the scene. But I, I, I went to this, this chord, the D. Now, the thing is, if I went to the D from the C, now up to the F. Now, if I went to the D from here, now it becomes, it's just a two chord. Then, then it goes to the five, so it's a two-five thing, which is a very common practice. Right? But it went to the G first, it went to the five. Now it's on the five. Now when it goes to this D, that suddenly that D signals to us that, that we're in the key of G, because it's the five chord of G, and it's not in the key of C. And so it's like, there's so many subtle things that, that would affect um, how we perceive keys. And it's like, it sort of, to me, it kind of shows like this kind of, of the dominant 
culture that created classical music and what we call the music theory, what's called music theory, um, it's kind of like this obsession with, um, with what key you're in, what the key is. Um, and, I, and I think it's like, it's, it would be interesting to, to just try to have like a, not so, put so much importance on that and have like a little bit of fluidity around that. <clears throat> so I just wanted to to bring that in. Okay, thank you, loves. <laughs>